Hello everyone, this is Shannon from That's So Po, and today I am bringing you my TBR for Queer Pride Month in June 2019. This is something that I meant to get out last week before June actually started, but due to a very bad cold, which I am still recovering from, uh, my filming was a little bit delayed. In any case, um, this month I would like to prioritize 10 books, and this is part of my monthly priorities project, which I will link the playlist to below, where I just try to focus on certain types of books, certain types of authors for the month, and come up with a list of 10 books that I would like to prioritize. These are not the only books that I'm gonna read this month, and I will not read all of these books, but it at least helps me choose what next to put a hold on at the library, and gives me a little bit of focus for the month. I also wanted to mention before I start going into my TBR that there is a um, queer readathon that is going on uh, that is hosted by Kathy Tryhart and Rogan Shannon, and this time is guest hosted by Yvette at Book Cave, which is from June 2nd through 8th, so it is almost over. But I did want to mention that I'm not participating in the um, readathon itself, but I think it's a really awesome thing to do. If anybody else is participating in that, let me know in the comments below and I will love to check out your TBRs and um, any wrap up that you do. Um, for me, my TBR is more of just a June month long TBR. So to get started, the first book on my TBR is Dreadnought by April Daniels. And this is a book that I've seen recommended both by Ian at Nerd Chaos and Yvette at Book Cave, both of whom I will link below. And this book is a middle grade. It's about a superhero, a trans girl who has to fight um, evil supervillains, but also has to fight against things like transphobia and social issues. It sounds like it will be sweet, but also very um, impactful and powerful. The next book on my list is When the Moon Was Ours by Anna Marie Macklemore. This is another book that was recommended by Ian at Nerd Chaos. And I have heard Anna Marie Macklemore's name on so many different booktubers channels. So I'm excited to give this a shot. It sounds like it is a YA that has a bunch of magical realism and some queer themes. And it, it just seems like it will be a really heartwarming story. Um, it also won the Stonewall Award. So there's a lot of good things going for this this book that make me excited for it. Next on my list is a nonfiction memoir, Redefining Realness by Janet Mock. This is a book that I have seen recommended both by Ian at Nerd Chaos and Yvette at Book Cave again, um, and is about a Hawaiian trans woman and her journey to adulthood. I think that in addition to reading fiction, I really want to hear some nonfiction memoirs understanding what that experience is like. In that same vein, the next book on my list is also a nonfiction memoir about a trans woman called Tomorrow Will Be Different by Sarah McBride. And Sarah McBride was an activist for trans rights in the Obama White House. And this is her story about her journey and what she did in the White House. Um, but it also sounds like it will have a very uh, tragic aspect to it because it covers the period where her husband died of cancer. So I think that's another very important perspective to read about. Next on my list is Guapa by Salim Haddad. And this is another book recommended by Ian at Air Chaos. Um, this book is about a young gay man in the Middle East who is accidentally outed to his family and he has to deal with the consequences of that and the conservative society around him. So I think that'll be an interesting perspective, at least a non-American perspective. Next on my list is Fire Song by Adam Garnett Jones. And this was recommended by Adriana at Perpetual Pages, who I will link below. This is about a young gay indigenous man who lives on a reservation and he is trying to navigate really his whole life. It's falling apart around him and he's trying to make sense of it and make his way. And so it's this coming of age story that sounds like it'll be really interesting from an, a Native American perspective. Next on my list is another book recommended by Adriana at Perpetual Pages, which is Aristotle and Dante Discover the Universe by Benjamin Alire Sainz. And this I have heard so many people talk about. I've heard it's gotten the Stonewall Award. It's very well regarded and it's another coming of age story, this time about um, Mexican American boys who are discovering kind of their sexuality and just their kind of adulthood. So it sounds like another really sweet story that will be meaningful to read. 
Next on my list is Oranges Are Not the Only Fruit by Jeanette Winterson, which is a book that was highly recommended by Anna at Actual Spinster, who I will link below. And this is a story about a young gay British girl in the 1960s who is an orphan who was adopted by a very religious family. So I think that that experience of growing up in a conservative religious environment while feeling that that's not kind of who you are, it will be a really interesting one to read. Another book that I've heard highly recommended is Hurricane Child by Karen Callender. And this is something that I've heard Injiri at Onyx Pages talk about, as well as Yvette at Bookcave, both of whom I will link below. And this is a magical realism middle grade novel about a young Caribbean girl who is dealing both with her sexuality um, as well as with the loss of her mother and some other things going on as well in this magical story. So this won the Stonewall Award as well and it just seems like it's going to be a fascinating magical story with a lot of deep emotional impact. And lastly, I'd like to read The Traitor Barrow Cormorant by Seth Dickinson. And this is something that I've heard recommended by Bex and John at 900 Books, as well as Maya at Maya Reads, who I have a link below. And this story um, is a fantasy novel, which is focused around a woman, Baru, whose parents are um, two gay men and a foreign power invades and conquers and this foreign power has very strict beliefs about what is okay and what is not okay and they are extremely prejudiced against same-sex relationships and they actually make one of her fathers disappear. Um, and Baru decides that she is going to join this empire and take it down from within. And so this book focuses on a lot of systemic issues of um, kind of homophobia and bias and prejudice and just the systemic oppression of gay people. And so I thought that that would be a really interesting take to do this month as well. Um, plus, it's nice to get in some cool fantasy novels. So those are the books that I am planning to prioritize for June. If anybody has read any of these books or you have a recommendation of which one I should definitely make sure I make time for, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you know of these books.